Hello, my name is Melrose Felderpooch, and I'm running for state treasurer. I'm here today to ask for your vote, as well as a small contribution to help pay for my recent run-in with local law enforcement, the Department of Animal Control, and the Wildlife Preservation Fund. As some of you may know, I have repeatedly and consistently denied any knowledge of how 36 ferocious Tasmanian devils wound up inside my garage. Furthermore, I don't see how I should be held responsible for all the mayhem, destruction of property, traffic accidents, loss of limbs, school closings, and National Guard deployment that ensued when the little monsters chewed through the garage door and escaped. However, I have always been a go-getter and a self-starter, so in times like these, I always remember what my dear old grandpappy used to say to me. Hey, get away from those goats, you little heathen scab picker. If I find you around them again, I'm gonna crack your head open with this rusty tire iron. He was always a sentimental old geezer, and I'll always cherish that about him. I would love animals, and long walks off short piers. I have a penchant for charts and graphs, especially pie charts. I can't get enough of them, and even once baked a pie made exclusively of pie charts. After consuming the entire extravaganza, I was hospitalized for three days. They even had to remove part of my colon, so now I just have a semicolon. Despite my many struggles and ever-increasing propensity to indulge in various concoctions comprised of petroleum distillates, I believe that service to our country is by far the most rewarding thing a person can do, next to water skiing. As state treasurer, I will soothe the many hills and bellies that comprise our economic future. I will caress the monetary expenditures and delicately embrace the liquid assets while firmly grasping the bottom line. Our monetary policies need to be full of hard truths and rising capital gains. We need to thrust our economy forward with bold investments and wide-open tax reform and to fully engage these policies with an in-and-out approach in response to the increasing ups and downs associated with the stock market. The corporate and government relationship is one of give and take in a sort of ever-increasing rhythmic push and pull, and as the economy goes faster and faster and faster stock prices go higher and higher household incomes begin to clench and curl as bull markets steam ahead and feel the impending reward of surging bond markets as the housing market wraps its legs around price indexes and salivates over lower oil costs, and the manufacturing sector moans and cries out and then and then and then and then whoa whoa oh 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 and then we abruptly reach a crescendo a final exhilarating climatic exertion of balanced budgets and windfall tax dividends at that point we might want to take a nap or eat some ice cream with these plans in place i'm sure that we can get through any economic downturn that we might come upon I believe that I'm the best man for that job and hope you'll vote for me. If I don't win this election, then I will have no other choice but to move to Paraguay, where I hear they have no extradition treaties and lax morality codes. Thank you and God bless something something.